All right, so what's up everybody? And one of the biggest questions that I've gotten recently from you guys is about the Lancer Rally Arc. And a big question that I get is, is this car a mini Evo or a baby Evo or is it something else? What, what's the best way to describe this car? And to be honest with you, is it a baby Evo or is it a really high-end Lancer? is the, the better question, and to be honest with you, it's a really high-end Lancer, okay? And here's why. The suspension that's on here is the same suspension uh, that's pretty much on a Lancer GTS. Now, the springs are adjusted differently because the suspension was tuned by the Rally Art Division on here, so it does have a bigger front sway bar, a front strut tower brace, and uh, better spring rates compared to a regular Lancer. And part of the reason why it's got a better spring rate than a regular Lancer is because the car is heavier thanks to that all-wheel drive system that's on here and the fact that the transmission, I believe, is also a little bit heavier than the standard CVT and five-speed transmissions as well. So this car does sit a little bit heavier, but it is still lighter than your Lancer Evolution MR or SE version. So that is something that is a positive for it. Also, the body panels are for a regular Lancer or Lancer GTS. It doesn't have the bulging fender flares that you get out of the Evo, uh, Evo GSR, MR, or SE versions. Now, the front bumper is specific to the Rally Art. Same with the rear bumper on the back side of the car are specific to the Rally Art. The wheels are 18 inch wheels that come off of the Lancer GTS and they are identical to the ones off the Lancer GTS. Uh, the side skirts also come off the Lancer GTS model, same with the spoiler that's on the back of the car is the same as the ones on, you guessed it, the Lancer GTS. The hood is the only physical trait on this car that is shared with the Evo. It is the same aluminum hood that comes from the Lancer Evolution 10. So it has the functional vents and the hood scoop on it as you get with the Evo 10. So it does share some, well, only one thing really with the Evo 10. And this one in particular, because of the Recaro Sport package that I have inside of it, has the HID running lights on it. So that's another uh, fantastic thing that I, that I did really like about this car. So body-wise, it really doesn't share anything at all with the Evo. Suspension-wise, the components are really the same as a Lancer GTS with a few subtle differences between the two of them. Even down to the brakes that are on here, the brakes are just standard two-piston front, single-piston rears that you find on the Lancer GTS. I mean, the car is a fantastic car, but there is just some things that are just bland and boring about it. Now, yes, some of you will argue, well, what about the drivetrain on it? What about the motor and the transmission and the, and the drivetrain? Well, the motor, yes, the motor is the same 4B11 turbo engine that you find in the Lancer Evolution 10. The motor is exactly the same. The turbo is what's different. The turbo is a much smaller single scroll TDO4 turbocharger on here. So it's a really tiny little turbo. And the best way I can describe it is it's almost about the same size from what I've been able to see as a standard 02 to 05 WRX, actually I think all the way up until uh, 2008 or 2009, WRX Turbo, which is a TDO4 13T turbocharger. And that's a pretty tiny turbocharger when you think about it. It doesn't really flow a whole hell of a lot of air. Which brings me to my next point, the intercooler on the front of this is also smaller than the one that you see in the Lancer Evolution 10. This one only actually fills up this front lower row piece right here, but it doesn't really go any higher than that. 
The Evo 10s goes much higher than that. It's a thicker core, it's a taller core, it's got better cooling efficiency, supposedly, than here. Now, a lot of people argue saying, well, this intercooler heat soaks really bad and it doesn't really cool. I'll tell you what, any one of these rally art owners that talk about heat soak, please talk to a WRX owner first before you start complaining and bitching about that front mount intercooler that's on here. Anything that's on a front of a car is better than what's on the, uh, on the top of an engine in a Subaru. Sorry to say that, that's just a little rant right there for you. So overall, this is actually a pretty good setup. Now again, the 4V11 turbo engine in here is only good for 237 brake horsepower, 200, 253, excuse me, 253 pound feet of torque, which isn't bad numbers. Now, the transmission in here is the same transmission that you find in the Evolution 10MR. It's the same twin clutch, six speed, flappy paddle gearbox that you have in the Lancer Evolution MR. Fifth and sixth gear, though, are longer. And because of it being slightly longer, the car does achieve slightly better fuel economy on the highway compared to the Evo 10. So that's what makes this just a little bit better as a daily driver car. Some things that also make this car very unique is the all-wheel control system that's on here is out of the Lancer Evolution 9. It's not out of the 10, so it doesn't have the full tweaking dynamics that the Evo 10 has, almost supercar-like. This one is a little bit more watered down, but it's nothing to complain about because the Lancer Evolution 9 was a fantastic car. So there's really nothing to complain about on that all-wheel control system that the, that the vehicle shares. So there are some fantastic things that are with this car. Interior-wise, exactly the same. Mine has a Recaro Sport package, which comes with the same seat setter in your Lancer GSR, or your Evolution, I'm sorry, Evolution GSR. So it's still bolstering and it's still fun. It have the aluminum pedals on there. It's got some little fancy bits here and there. But it also has split folding rear seats, something the Evolution does not have, which makes this car just a little bit more of a commuter. So is this car compared to as a baby Evolution or is this just a really high-end Lancer? In my opinion, it's a really high-end Lancer. It's basically saying you got the top model of the bracket. And that's what I consider this car. It's not an Evolution. It wasn't meant to be an Evolution. This is a car that you can daily drive and have a little bit of fun on the weekends with. Throw it in sport mode, use a flappy paddle gearbox if you want. But you can drive it comfortably on the highway, get decent gas mileage and be comfortable on a daily basis. So that's my take on the Lancer Rally Art. Thank you.